Hello! This is David from WP Shout. Uh, and one of our core features on the site, which is basically all about WordPress development and uh, learning it, um, is our links. And that is where we share stuff to things we didn't write and didn't publish, like this, this article about registering custom routes uh, with the WordPress REST API or how Safari is the new IE or whatever. And you'll see down here, we've got this custom thing. And what that is, is it's coming from a actual custom field where we put in this value of a link. And that didn't used to show up in our RSS feed. You used to just get, just get the post title itself, which naturally links back to your site and the content. And so if we remembered to put into the body of the post a URL, it would be there. But if not, it wouldn't be. And that wasn't a great experience because if you wanted to find out where we were linking to about this change in 4.3 where uh, Ella from SiteGround is a core committer, you would have to click to our site and then click to the actual story we were meaning to link to. So now we've now we've added that to the top of the top of our RSS feed, so you can click right to the post, and you can only you would only have to visit our site if you want to. Um, and so. How we did that is we just made a new plugin on Shout that includes, that's called WP Shout uh, Link and Feed because that's exactly what it does. And it only consists of one function that's hooked onto one filter. The filter we're hooking onto is called the content feed. Um, the basics of RSS, for those who aren't familiar, it's this thing WordPress automatically publishes for you. It's a rich format that essentially is like a very, very specific kind of te post template. Uh, it involves a lot of XML and stuff. But what you'll notice, this, these are under, in you'll find in your WP includes directory a bunch of feed-rss, feed-atom kind of things. And these are your, your RSS feeds. And you'll see in here that they call the title RSS, the permalink RSS, the category RSS, they get the content feed. So it's exactly like what you see in a template file with the title, the content, the the permalink, etc. except that there are all these RSS or feeds tacked onto the end. And so we're hooking onto the content feed. Feed is actually, content feed is actually one of the oddballs. Almost all of them are RSS. And there used to be a the content RSS, but you don't want to hook onto that anymore because it's been deprecated. So you want to hook onto the content feed if you want to change what's in the content of your RSS feed items, which is what we wanted to do. So what we're doing is we're just getting that custom field. This middle one you'll notice is the is the actual name of the field. The first the first parameter will be the ID of the post. Get the ID works here just the same as it would work inside the loop anywhere else in WordPress. And then this, this final parameter is saying, yes, we want it to be a string. Um, and so by default with that, we want to guard against, not every post on our site is a link. Some of them are actual articles about WordPress development that we wrote ourselves from scratch and they don't link anywhere. Um, so in that case, we just exit early and return the content. But if not, we want to take that link, make sure we escape the URL, though really because we're creating that data, it's very unlikely that it would be an issue, but just in case, let's be super safe. And then we're getting the title RSS again, because this is going to show up in the RSS feed, we may as well use that one. We're adding this little arrow to the end. And then we're just linking this an H2 that we put in our feed. We could make this, this an H3. We could make this content not pull from a custom field. But this is the basic thing we need to do in order to pull data from a custom field on our WordPress site, such as this, and have it appear inside of our, our RSS feed. So if we wanted to change the title into, you know, to just always put WP shout at the front, we could also do a similar thing. We would hook on to a, yikes, uh, we would want to filter, and then we would hook on to the title RSS, and we have a new function. And that function would just say something like, uh, we'll throw in the content title, return. Now this would just be annoying. 
and so we wouldn't do it. But if we wanted to, this is the same thing. And this actually reminded me of the last point I wanted to make, which is you can and you will see tutorials that point to doing this where you instead of hooking onto the title RSS, you hook onto the title and then you do an is feed check inside of that hook. And that actually works perfectly fine. In this case, we would just want to do this inside there and then return the title otherwise, or something like this. Um, but that works, but it's just not quite as efficient because you're hooking on any time the title filter is used. Whereas when you hook onto the title RSS, it's only when it's going into the feed. It already went through the title filter and then it's getting to the last one, which is the title RSS. So that's the basics of adding cut any custom data to a, word, a, uh, a RSS feed in WordPress and specifically how we did it with a custom field on our site WP Show. Uh, I'll link to the tutorial in the video uh, description, but otherwise, have a good week.